So now I want to show you some of the new application patterns that we've created as part of the Honeycomb UI framework. But before I do that, let me just point out the fact that we've spent a significant amount of effort making sure that existing Android applications run really well on tablets. In fact, an app that's been designed with our recommended development guidelines is going to work without any modifications and run really well on Android. And I want to show you an example. In fact, one of my all-time favorite games, which is, of course, Fruit Ninja. So because I was playing this earlier, I'm going to see that it's actually showing up here in my recents by uh, touching the multitasking button. So I'm going to go into Fruit Ninja. And I'll play this for a little bit. Now, this is a completely unmodified version of Fruit Ninja. In fact, what's available in Android market today. Um, before, and it was built before Honeycomb even existed. Uh, and it works amazingly well. It even supports multi-fingered, multi-handed uh, gestures if you want. You can probably also tell that I am really good or getting really good with this. Uh, but I'll pause that for a second. Um, so it works really well even though it was built before Honeycomb even existed, as I said. Now, of course, we want to encourage application developers to build tablet-optimized experiences for the applications. And to do that, we've added a lot of really cool new things to the Honeycomb application framework. One of these things is what we call an application fragment. And I want to show you what that is uh, inside of Gmail. So let me open Gmail over here. Uh, so we, we're in landscape mode. And in landscape mode, you're going to see two panes, the left folder view, uh, and then my inbox on the right. Now, watch what happens when I uh, click on a message, when I tap on a message. You see that the leftmost pane slid out to make room for another pane, the message, uh, that then slides into the same place. And if I click on the inbox, you see that the, the, side, the leftmost panel or pane slides back in. These panes are what we call application fragments. And a fragment is something that a developer can use to encapsulate specific application functionality and then reuse that throughout the application. So for example, if I flip this tablet into portrait mode, um, I may want and probably will want to recombine how these uh, fragments are laid out. And eventually, fragments are going to be useful so that you can have completely reusable functionality between the phone and the tablet version of your application. It is being able to pick up and then drag uh, a message, for example, into a folder. And this is something that has been uh, built not as part of Gmail, but part of the application framework. Uh, we have an incredibly full-featured dragging manager uh, that uh, allows you to create uh, and manage uh, sort of these, these dragging interactions. There's a lot more coming there. And then one last thing that I wanted to show is across the top here is the application bar. The application bar is another application pattern that can be packaged into a fragment. And in this case, uh, it contains, it's showing global actions. So I have search, I have compose, uh, and a few other things. But if I select a few messages, you'll see that that application bar now changes to contain actions that are specific to the selected items. In this case, archive, star, uh, label, etc. Uh, so this is another example of sort of really modular development that uh, we've built as part of the Honeycomb application framework. So we'll go back to the home screen. And now I want to talk a little bit about performance. Needless to say, we've spent a tremendous amount of time really optimizing performance at every level on Honeycomb, especially for 2D and 3D graphics. So first, all of 2D drawing that developers have been doing with the existing uh, framework can now be hardware accelerated. And developers can actually do that literally by adding just one line of code to their existing application, and then they can, they can take advantage of hardware acceleration.